Hello, this is Joseph from Gorilla 3D. In our last Ajax screencast, we went over an introduction to Ajax. In this one, I am going to be going over an introduction to Jason. What is Jason? It's a very compact language um, designed to be broadcast across the net. And I am going to be going over how to implement it in our last tutorial. So, um, if you don't have any of this content, look on the link. I have it as a reply. You can just catch it off of there. Uh, I gotta love Vista. All right. So to get started, we're gonna use our existing functions here to load page. And actually, this should be HTML. Um, so I'm gonna take the page home.html and duplicate it for this one, and actually start to edit it. The only difference here is I'm actually going to do a JSON format rather than just pure HTML. And to start off, you have to have the curly brackets. This isn't a JSON requirement, this is a JavaScript requirement. Once you have that, you actually, actually now have to find either an array, um, some kind of either integer or a string, or an object. And in this case, we're going to define an object. So we need the curly brackets. And then within our curly brackets, we're going to have variables. So for our first variable, we're going to say title. And this is actually going to change our title on top of our page every time we load. So this title is going to be called home. And then we use a comma to um, use our next one, which is going to be our body. Now you notice I'm using semicolons here. Um, so make sure you use semicolons to separate your variable versus the value. And then for the body, I'm just going to take the HTML code I had down here and just dump it into my single quotes. And you just save it. So that's the biggest step right there, is understanding the JSON format. Um, there's a bit more to it as far as how to do arrays and putting um, objects into arrays, but this is pretty much as simple as I can think of right now. Alright, so we have it saved as our home.html. And all we're going to do is go back to our load page. And the result just returns the text data. So after that, we're just going to do var page equals eval. And this is the JavaScript function to evaluate JavaScript code. So we'll take the JSON and actually evaluate it into a JavaScript object. So we're going to say results. And that's going to going to be our page. Um, now before we continue on with implementing the rest of this, we're going to do a little firebug um, demo. So if we can do console.log, this is a very firebug specific um, function, and we just say page. So we're going to log the page when it loads. So we're just going to go ahead and save this and go back to our browser, refresh it. And when we click on home, it's going to load in our JSON, which obviously is not very useful right now. But Firebug is actually going to give us the object so we can look through the object and see what's inside of it. So now we can go ahead and go back and actually implement our object into some HTML in the title. It's going to remove the console.log. And what I want to do is actually change the title of this page. I'm going to say document.title equals page dot and then we actually use title that's what we have in our JSON format over here where the variable is named title so we have that part and then instead of saying inner HTML equals result we're gonna say inner HTML equals page dot body and again the body comes from our body um, variable within our JSON and that's pretty much it. So if we can go ahead and save this and refresh, when we click on home, not only is it going to load what we did before, but it's actually going to change the title of our browser right here to home instead of, uh, I think it was untitled document. Yeah. So when you click on home, it changes to home. And that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this rather short screencast on an introduction with JSON 
and using JSON alongside with the AJAX format, sort of like, something like that. Anyways, um, comment, rate my videos, and uh, let me know what you like and don't like.